Hey y'all, today we are doing a mobile home reset. My single wide is a mess because we have been doing home projects. So, you know, <laughs> you pick where your energy goes. So today our energy is going inside the house and tomorrow we're going to get back to home projects. The plan is to sand and I'm just showing you an overview of the mess. The plan is to sand the new pieces of deck wood that went up that we already replaced like a year ago, last summer. Because they're a different color. They faded to a different color now than the new pieces of wood that we just added. So we're probably going to sand those old pieces of wood down. That way we can stain the deck and all the pieces of wood will be the same color. So I'm pretty excited to do that. We have the deck stain, we have deck brush, and if we can get to it tomorrow, I'm gonna to be so excited to share that with y'all. So definitely be subscribed if you wanna see some home update videos. But I do like to throw in these videos once or twice a week, just also to keep me accountable of keeping my house at at least, you know, a lived in <laughs> look, if that makes sense, because I don't expect my house to ever be spotless, but I also don't want it to get to a point where it gets out of control. So keeping the mess at a minimum is my priority. So cleaning the house a couple of times a week takes care of that. Um, I took out some trash and I also decluttered a couple of things from the shower of all places. My goal is to one day have that bathtub actually accessible and be able to use because we have not used that bathtub in years. Honestly, I've never used it. <laughs> I always use ours. Um, but it has always been just used as like a storage area and now I'm just ready to have it decluttered and emptied out so I figured I will just declutter a few things at a time um, in these like cleaning videos that way I'm not having to take a whole day to declutter a space I can just do it one chunk at a time so there's a good tip for y'all if you don't want to tackle an area all at once just do it in chunks it will all get done um we're just going around and getting all the trash dirty dishes we are about to take the trash with us by the way i do have music playing but i'm a talker and my viewers love the talking so if you're new to this channel and you're like whoa when is the music gonna start I really don't know. We're just going to chat it up. <laughs> it's probably going to start when I need to take a drink of my um, little coffee beside me. But we're about to take the trash off. So I'm just putting new bags in, taking the other bags out that are full. Man, y'all, when you live in a small house, trash just makes your house smell so nasty. So oh, I'll... I'm always happy when it's trash day. I'm like, yes, let's get this crap out of here. Excuse my language, but for real, like it's got to go. I want my house to smell good. At the end of the video, I do like put a new wax melt in my wax mower. And that is always the best feeling when you get done cleaning and you light your candle or you do your room spray or your wax melts and you just feel like, okay, I can relax now. Um, and you, it's almost like you just feel like the air is cleaner and everything. You breathe, breathe easier, all that stuff. So in the background, there is like home improvement things, um, which I do have a goal to get to, but I'm just so excited to get that deck done that that's what we're going to kind of go on to next. And then maybe we'll go back in and do some inside stuff. So here is our local dump. I don't know what else you would call it. Trash 
facility. Um, but in that one on the left is where we put our regular trash. And then they have a one on the right that is for your recycling. They also have a separate recycling for glass and oil if you need to get rid of oil. So we're just getting the trash in there and um, <laughs> I didn't even notice that man that had walked up behind us. But here's where the plastic and cardboard and all that stuff goes. So I'm going to get a load of laundry going. But before I do that, I'm going to get this rug outside so it can air dry. And I also have a curtain. I know random that needs to be air dried. I like to dry that stuff outside because it's bigger and also it's not like clothes but I do want to put a clothesline up outside so that I can dry our clothes outside because especially during the spring and summer when it gets warm the dryer heats up the whole house and if it's already hot you're not going to want it to be even hotter so it will save us money but it will also save us from burning up in here or saving me from having to wait until like nine o'clock at night to do our um drying that reminds me did y'all ever see those like extreme cheap skates videos where people would say um they wouldn't wash or dry their clothes until after a certain time of day because the energy was cheaper during that time which honestly that's something I would totally do because it's not really an inconvenience and it will save you a little bit of money I was spraying our dirty laundry hamper because it smelled so nasty <laughs> Um, also in this video I wanted to put up a few decorations so these two are like those little windmills that you can decorate with and they are like for the 4th of July or patriotic Americana whatever you want to call that decor but I love our flag so anyway I can decorate with it I will honestly um, I would have this stuff up all year round but I do want it to last a long time so I do just kind of start putting it out when it gets hotter and it's kind of past that early spring phrase phase i like to put stuff like this up so i know it's early for a lot of people i'm in no way telling you that you need to go ahead and decorate for the fourth of july but a lot of people did tell me that this is totally normal because there's also memorial day coming up and people decorate for that so we're just going to do a little bit of decorating with our flags and i love doing this putting it in a little a flower basket it's just so cute to me so we've got our flags up in the front and then our windmills up in the back and then on the inside we're going to decorate just a little bit and y'all i'm going to go to a thrift store probably in a few days and see what all 4th of July decor I can find to decorate with for the summer because I have hardly any summer decor. I decluttered a lot of things that I just didn't feel like were my style anymore. So it didn't leave me with a lot to choose from. So I definitely want to hit up a thrift store and then possibly go to Dollar Tree for anything else that I just don't find at the thrift store. But I definitely want to keep it on a budget maybe like give myself a limit of $30 and see what I can work with on that. So I think that would also be fun and helpful for those of y'all that are also on a budget. So that sounds like a good idea. Here is our rose bush and it's got some new white flowers on it I think are so pretty. And the roses are definitely popping now. There are so many of them. Here is the verse of the day. All right, now I'm going to get our bed made because I've got a lot of laundry that needs to be taken care of. But y'all, I have got to catch my breath and take a sip of my coffee. So I'll be back in just a minute.
So the clothes in this basket are dirty. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the other dirty clothes that are on the floor in this basket. That way I can get this one washing after that other one is done. But I did have a few things in the dryer from where I washed my sheets earlier this week. So I'm going to pull those out of the dryer and then I can get all of that folded. And I'm just looking forward to having all of my laundry clean. So everything's clean now. I do need to switch over that basket that y'all just saw. I need to put that stuff in the dryer after I get done with this video. But other than that, all the laundry is caught up. Aaron said that he would do the dishes anytime. Well, okay, we take turns doing dishes. Um, so he will do them and then I will do them. And I did them two times in a row. So, and I wouldn't have mind doing them a, a third time in a row. Because if they don't get, if it's not like a sink full and it's just a few things in there, I'll do them. Because, you know, it takes like five minutes. But when it's a sink full, it's like 15, 20 minutes that you're standing there washing dishes. So whenever I am basically doing a whole house clean with me, I'll say, Aaron, do you want to do these dishes? And he says, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, I'm glad that he's going to take care of that. That was one less thing we had to do today. But, I'm going to get all this laundry done. And, I've got stuff to hang up to. And, I was going to ask y'all, do you count your clothes that you need hangers for? That way, whenever you go to get hangers, you pull out the correct amount. I would love to know, so let me know in the comments section if you do that. Also, it, I'm just random, so I'll just share with y'all some like funny, I guess like secrets, but not really secrets. Like it's, I've never really told anybody, but it's because nobody ever really asked. But it's little random things that I do. So even as an adult, I've done this since I was a kid. Anywhere we go, say it's like an office building or a hospital, schools, which obviously we I haven't been in a school in decades. <laughs> um, once I was done in high school, I was like, yes, get me out of here. And then I went to hair school and they didn't have ceilings like what I'm about to describe. But the ceilings that have the white boards that you could break in half with your foot if you wanted to they're they're hard but they're soft it's like a weird hard foam with cardboard and it's white looking but it also has the little divots everywhere in it y'all know exactly what i'm talking about um i i would count those tiles on the ceiling um anywhere also this is a funny thing, which I feel like a lot of us did do, but I don't know at what point in adulthood I actually grew out of this, but walking on a sidewalk and walking over the crack, because if you, if you walked on the crack, you'd break your mom's back. And I did not want to break my mom's back. And I really seriously thought that if I walked on a crack, that I was going to go home one day and my mom's back was going to be broken and I was going to be devastated and guilty because it would have been my fault that it had happened. Isn't that wild? It's wild. And I don't know if all, all kids took things literally like that, but even as an adult, I would find myself walking over the crack. But now I walk on the crack and I'm like, uh-uh. It ain't happening <laughs> because when you're an adult you're like oh that's just silly that's not true that ain't even possible okay so I'm just being a lazy duster right now I didn't even bring my spray over here I'm just dusting it off I have another I have a collab coming up soon May 1st so it's in a few days 
and we're doing a clean with me together so I was like well I'm gonna do you know a good job but also three days from now I'm gonna hit it hard and like dust with the and do a good job get my lamp and and um I take my what do you call that it's a roller and it's tape lint roller <laughs> I don't even use it for lint I use it for hair the cat hair dog hair my hair gets all over our headboard especially when the cats come in there because they like to walk on the top ledge of it so and it also gets on our lampshades so I like to take the lint roller and lint roll my bed and one of you commented and said, I've never seen anyone lint roll their bed before. Um, I always vacuum mine, but I may have to try this and do so. Because I, that sounded so funny, by the way, because I am not proper at all. And I was like, do so. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes, okay? Um, again, with the like, we're not really deep cleaning here. We're just getting it done I dusted this off because my hair falls out like crazy my head hair um, <laughs> that's the only hair I have anyways did y'all know I literally shave my arms I don't like body hair okay on men fabulous 10 out of 10 necessary yes 1000% on me no get rid of it if I could if I could wax everything in myself I would but oh that would hurt so I'm not gonna do that but I don't have warm hair <laughs> honestly okay here's my reasoning behind it I feel like my tattoos look better without hair and the hair makes my tattoos look kind of faded so there you go. If you feel like your tattoos on your arms are faded, shave your arms. And it will probably be a lot less faded. So we went to the grocery store, like I said. We got some tortilla shells. By the way, I don't know what I was talking about earlier. So, <laughs> maybe we'll remember. This Fruito cheese stuff. Um, he got these cookies that have the cream in the middle that we're buying it with free. This blackened chicken that we're going to eat later today. One of these Walla skillet meals. Shredded lettuce for, um, because we're skinny. Tortilla cheese. <laughs> if you know, you know, DiGiorno Thin Crust Pizza. By the way, I'm so proud of her. I, I can't even tell y'all her name. But, um, it's a girl on TikTok and she used to do like what I eat in a day. As a plus size girl. And she would drink water. With all of her. Whatever meal she was having. And she would say because I'm skinny. And I just loved it. Because it's like obviously. She knew that she was plus size. But it's just funny. You know it's like. Yeah skinny people drink water. Sure. <laughs> loved, the, loved the humor. Um, but all that to say, she, I guess, had some like health problems that made it to where she really did need to lose weight. And she's doing so good. Actually, the other night, she was using that, it's, it's the link exercise belt where you kind of hula hoop the cord around you. I thought this was cute. It reminded me of a leaf or like a piece of wood. But she's still there, so I don't know if this thing's dead or alive. But it's on the outside of the glass. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I can't... Okay, did y'all know, sometimes I get comments of people saying, is this a parody? And you know what? I never thought of that about that because it's I'm, I'm being serious. Well, not serious, but I'm being for real. This is me. I'm trying my hardest not to belt out the This Is Me song, but I will if you want me to. Anyways, this is just me. 
um, take it or leave it. <laughs> it is what it is, okay? Um, I, I got dropped. <laughs> Actually, my dad did tell me the other day that I did got I did get dropped on my head. So, <laughs> but he said he did too. So, <laughs> it wasn't shade at me. Uh, don't we all get dropped on our heads at least once? Uh, my brother got dropped on his head. It was my fault. He was on the recliner and he was on the arm of the recliner and he rolled right off of it and he was on the floor before I could even catch him and I was like eight years old so you cannot judge me. I was a, I was a baby myself okay and I did get a butt whooping for sure. <laughs> my dad actually said i remember this he said if you, if either one of you do anything to your brother like if i hear your brother crying or something like that um you're both gonna get a, sp a spanking so i don't actually remember if my sister did but i definitely did um but we got our fair share of those but we turned out all right anyways um not gonna get into that this was in our living room and i don't know that it's going to stay here it probably won't stay here i'll pro most likely use this in our vegetable um garden which is going to be somewhere else and a lot of y'all said um that the red dyes excuse me my dog is whining all right a lot of you said that the red mulch has dye in it and dye is not good with vegetables and stuff and um i looked up online and it says it's fine it's safe it says it's made with iron iron oxide which is rust um that's what gives it the red color by the way i went to family dollar today because we needed a few things like aaron wanted a measuring tape um we needed dog food and then i also got some of that oxyclean stain remover so i'm gonna use that i really like using the oxyclean i know it's not necessary but i just feel like it helps especially um if i get like makeup or something on my clothes um i just feel like it gets our clothes a lot cleaner so that's why i use that but i'm just getting all these dishes on the left side of the sink for Erin because I don't know why I do this <laughs> but I put all of the dirty dishes on the right side of the sink because I'm left-handed and I like to use the left side of the sink so that's like my working sink but then when you go to wash dishes it's backwards so I just figured I would give him a little like head start and put all the dishes on the left side for him so he didn't have to do that later on and he's got the chicken in the air fryer for us so we're going to shake that up after we get done wiping off the countertops but i will most likely just get a brown or black mulch to go around the vegetable beds even though they won't really be touching the vegetables at all um, if we get like strong winds, then if the mulch gets in the flower, the vegetable beds themselves, uh, I guess it would be like less of a risk than the red one. So I'll do that even if it makes some of y'all feel better because it's not a big deal at all to just get a different, uh, color. Or I guess it's not even a color, it would just be natural. And speaking of, my sister-in-law, she got rubber mulch and she mixed it with brown it was like one bag of brown and i guess she had some black mulch and she mixed it together and it looked really natural and i don't know if that's like even more affordable than the like wood mulch but it's definitely an option for mulch if you want to have something like that and i think the rubber would last longer because it's not as it's not going to deteriorate as fast as the wood would in my opinion i don't know so i'm just vacuuming our kitchen floor i didn't mop today but i will do that in a few days erin was watching someone play the video game seven days to die 
it's a zombie game that he really likes to play. And now we're going to move to the living room and get that picked up. And Chloe's right there with Erin. They're so cute. So I was getting this stuff picked up over here and then I went to vacuum and it cracked me up because the vacuum cleaner, we just cleaned it out. And so it's like as powerful as it can be. It was trying to, to suck up the carpet, like the rug. And this rug is big. So it was crazy to me to see it. And I was like, do you see this? And I said, I have to go really, really fast so it doesn't do it. So that's why I look like I'm going really fast because I am, even though I have this at times like two and a half speed. But after this, I'm going to show y'all what the living room and the kitchen and the laundry area look like. Again, some of the areas don't actually look clean. Well, they don't look minimal. There's no nothing that needs to be like thrown away or anything and it's not dirty. But there's just clutter. And in some areas, I do like there to not be clutter. But in other areas, I'm okay with it um, because it's just not like it just really doesn't bother me. Like the laundry area, it's no big deal to me. So I did put those rugs away in our bedroom closet and the bathroom's picked up now. So I'm just coming over here to wipe these down because the cat likes to sit on it a lot margaret which is our smaller one lucy does too but she doesn't come over here as much as margaret does margaret will walk all over this stuff and i think in a few days when i film that play with me i may take off these um chair covers and i don't know if i'm gonna wash them just yet but i definitely need to take them off i may actually put them outside and just kind of let them air out in the sun i feel like it's good for them and i really need a vacuum in the cushions of the chairs because i've noticed with the chair covers um food and crumbs really is an issue it gets in there so i put this little bicycle up it's not really you know fourth of july or summery but it's more spring like but um it fills in that space nicely so i thought it would be good and then this says faith family freedom it was from hobby lobby a long time ago but they probably still have something like that and it's got the red and white stripes on the sides and then these are just um red mushrooms i don't actually have salt and pepper in them they're just for decor and i never know which way to turn them so <laughs> Just kind of tweaking it and then I just left it at that. Then up here on top of the stove, I've got to put these toothpicks because they do not look good right there. But I love the little bumblebee, so I did want to have him out. At first, I put all this stuff on one side and moved the um, roller over. But... It just didn't work. The sizes were not great together. The B is way too big and also the color is just not matching. So what I decided to do was move the roller back in the middle, put the little fairy house and little cardinals on one side, and then I put the bumblebee with the picks on the other side. That way the weight was even on both sides. And to match the yellow color, I'm going to put this other hand towel over here for decoration purposes. And it's um, black and white and it has yellow bumblebees on it. Okay, so I fixed that off camera. <laughs> So now we have lots of red and yellow over here and everything goes together. 
So it's okay to mix and match stuff. I think as long as the proportions are even, like symmetrical, I like symmetry. And the color scheme works together. You really can do a, a variety of things and get it all to work for you. So we're making these little chicken tacos with lettuce, shredded cheese, and then also some chipotle um, sauce from the McCor McCormick brand. And then off camera, I did add some sour cream and salsa. But I wanted to show y'all how, how Aaron made his plate too. So you'll see that. And here's the chipotle sauce. And it's not a spicy chipotle sauce either. It's very mild. But that's how he made his. And before I go, I wanted to add this Sicilian lemon um, wax melt. And we have a guest to star. This Mr. Ant or Mrs. Ant in he or she is probably really glad that I didn't even see them, so they got to live today. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all back here um, tomorrow for another one. I hope you have a great day. Bye.